Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Tales of Persia. In the last episode, we did actually discover how to break the bed. I have actually done a little grinding off screen. Don't get so... You really do have a peculiar air about you. Well, thanks. Yes, good kill equipment. And back up. Well, I did get going a bit off screen. I uh, get yeah. preparing a little bit and stocking out the car in get inside the car to save a bit of uh, on for travel. The spirits, but I already have picked up a bunch of them. Well, let's see what way it goes. In top. Well, I never actually. I I up I do off skin lever ganging, but I'm not going up my way to basically and I never actually gang any story progression if I'm to say quick. Point to the wrong hook point here. Sorry if I'm not back to work again. I'm still trying to get used to my tears to Alain to practice multitasking with commentary. I'm still quite new. Okay, let's do this. Wangal Elkia. Did the Sylph J reach your men? Yeah, they're scouting the checkpoints. They're not back yet? No, but they won't be long. Let's rest for a bit. I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. We'll rest until the scouts are back then. Okay. the boy an apple too aren't I the kindest girl alive an apple would you like one this time I want you to crow like a root 
No, thank you. Miss? Are you really planning to fight Artorius? Well, the boy did ask me so sweetly. But, but you'd have no chance! Are you defying me? Did the old man give you orders? Not at all! Then you're coming with me. If things get too hot, we can run. And if we die, then... That's that! I know! You're a quick one, little Bienfu. But I do hope you'll struggle as long as possible. I need you around for when I'm bored, after all. Okay. Alright, well, so in Tescan, okay, let's see. Oh. I have snow zip left. Is it good? It's tart, and yet sweet. No thanks. I wouldn't be able to taste it anyway. Oh. You sure like the sea? I'm afraid of the sea, the waves, sharks, all this strange fish. But at the same time, it's huge and full of wonder. When I let myself think about what might be over the horizon... It's exciting! My brother... He loved the sea, too. Your brother? Really? He'd sit on the cape, just staring at it. I told him he'd catch cold in that ocean wind, but he never listened to a word I said. Your way of looking at the world is so much like his. I wish, I wish I bought him that compass. I wish we could have traveled together like he wanted. are back everyone
Muffy said. You know you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I'm going with you, Velvet. I see. Okay. Now, before I head to the point, I'm actually going to pick up <laughs> Oh, I thought my chest You say he was using a pendulum? Aye, sir. And he blasted all the inspectors. I think he'd be a match for even the captain. Thank you. I'll look into this for myself. Hold it. What's going on? The exorcist inspection team was attacked by a pendulum-wielding Moloch. The same type of weapon was found at the place the captain vanished from. And so you think the attacker is the one who took the captain? I don't know, but this can't be coincidence. Eifried is in the custody of exorcists. Why would they attack their own? What will you do? One of your keys is running off. I'm going after him. If they're already in disarray, causing more confusion will only benefit us. Pandemonium! My favorite! Okay. Eisen sure picked an inconvenient time to run off, though, didn't he? I can't blame him. He's got his own purpose. Okay. Next. Ooh. How are we on time? Well, I bet this. This is it for this episode of Let's Play Tales of Asia. See you guys next time, so I'll see you later.